Hello guys, for today's video we are adding a salon to our Zampaguita Avenue city slash town. It's more of a town than a city. Anyways, last episode we made an eatery, a carinderia. And over here we are going to make the salon in between of the eatery and the... Well, you'll find out next video what this one's gonna be. But that's gonna be a secret as of right now. And yeah, let's get into the video. <laughs> Okay, time to get back to work. Um, okay, so inside, again, we're going to have to make it like a default color because like I said, I really can't work with when it's not in the vibe that I want it to be. So for this build, we're not going to be including the upper part of it like this one because that's just there for decoration. That's just there for the shape of the overall city skyline. But yeah, okay, so we're gonna get into this real quickly, but let me just change the color of the roof because why does it look like that? That's better. Okay, so with beauty salons in the Philippines, there's quite a lot of them and I just want to map out where I want them. So let me just grab mirrors. This backlit mirror would do. Love it. Okay, so we're gonna add three chairs over here, but I was hoping we could also add some this way as well but i'm not sure yet but we'll put it anyways okay there we go so when we go in we have our seats over here and we're going to have more seats over here perhaps like a hair washing station but this area here is reserved for a counter because how else are we going to pay so let me just go to tables and find a worthy desk i reckon something like this would do Okay, let's add that here. And for the chairs, okay, these chairs look kind of dodgy, but I think I know what I'm gonna go for. We definitely want it to be the type to swivel, but I don't want the comfort office chair because this isn't an office, so I'm gonna stick to this fluent stool. But instead, I'll be adding something to it. Let me see if I can pull it off. Okay, basic shapes and these vertical cylinders. Ugh. I don't know if I should use basic shapes or structural. Working with basic shapes or structural, should I say, is so hard. <sighs> it's so frustrating. And my mouse is still not working. Oh my goodness. I completely forgot to buy a new one. Oh my gosh. This is so frustrating. Let me please rotate my screen. This mouse, I swear, is giving me so much trouble rotating. Oh my gosh. That's it. I'm going to Amazon. I'm buying a mouse, guys. I'm buying a mouse. Done. I just bought a mouse. Order placed, guys. I am not suffering through this. This is actually so annoying. Oh my gosh, I can't... How can I make videos when my equipment does not work? I think we might have to wait two to three business days for my new mouse to arrive because I cannot live like this. Seriously, won't let me rotate. It's so hard. Okay, that's it. I'm actually properly giving up. I'll see you in two to three business days. Okay, I got my new mouse. Let's continue the video. <laughs> oh, I was making the chair. Yes, of course. I like to think that I'm a little bit better at this um, because I did end up making a wheelchair a few weeks ago or was it just a week ago i'm not sure but for my lavender lane hospital i had to make wheelchairs and a stretcher and i had to do this a lot yeah so i like to think i'm a bit of a pro when it comes to stuff like this okay and i think that's that for the chair but why does it still look like that it still looks a bit off and before we do anything else i need to try it out okay let's see it sits <gasps> Perfect, perfect, lovely. So let's try to look for a shelf that is worthy. Oh, am I kidding? We're probably gonna go with this because we always go with this one. And the best part about this is we can extend it out just like that. Now I feel like we really have to figure out the color scheme of this whole place. So we're gonna go with white because that's always the color of these sort of establishments. Guys, does anyone miss linen? I feel like barely anyone uses it now. I wanted to actually make a TikTok just like a few days ago. I wanted to make a TikTok about how using linen and seashell is girlhood, bro. It's girlhood for real. I think that I want to kind of cross this area off because um, we need it to have more shape. Oops, why won't it let me do that? What is behind here? Please, let me do it. Yup, delete. Oof. Hmm. So this area can be like the storage room. So I'm gonna add a door there to make sure the 
customers can't just walk in because that would be very dangerous since it has a lot of chemicals. Let's put a plain door for now. There we go. Okay, so I also added the setting area because where else would the people wait and sit if not here? Hmm, but do I really want to keep these chairs? Maybe we want something like a sofa or something. Oh, this isn't too bad. Like that. That is really nice. But what color should we have it? I feel like it's always black, isn't it? Black and leather. Maybe we can also add a little table with like magazines and stuff. That's like perfect. Before, I used to collect so many magazines, not because I read them or anything, but because when I used to watch Pretty Little Liars, Hannah, my favorite one out of the Pretty Little Liars, she always read magazines and I was like, I wanna be like Hannah. So all I did was collect magazines. I never read them or anything like that i just assumed that it was like a cool thing to do and yeah it's crazy because now i have a lot of magazines that i paid a lot of money for that i've never read and are so out of date from like 2015 14 around that era okay i've completely forgotten we need a hair washing station and we need that station where, okay, I don't even know what it does, but it's like a dome thing that goes on top of your head. I actually don't know what it is for, but we should try that out. It kind of looks a little bit like this lamp over here somewhere. It looks like this, like that, you know? And it goes in your head, on your head, I mean. Not in your head, that would be weird. After searching the internet, I found out that it is called a hair steamer. And that is what we are going to be making next. Let's try to make its base. It's like the electric fan base. If we add a basic shape underneath the bucket, can we flip it upside down? That's the question. Okay, it kind of looks like that. It's looking still a bit odd. Okay, by stacking transparent basic shapes and making one of them blue and the other clear, it should look like this is a bottle of something. That is perfect. Look at that. I love it. Best part about this is you can just move it around with one basic shape. Okay, now we can put it over here. Let's pretend that this person's using it. Okay, but I actually want to see when a person is actually using it. Oh my gosh, it's lovely. It's sure it's a little bit wonky, but honestly, I think it's good enough. I was actually hoping I could eliminate this whole area here and to put the hair washer. Okay, I found this really cool looking one that we can make easily out of basic shapes. And we're gonna need this horizontal wedge, just like that. Okay, so I've made this thing. I really don't like what it looks like, but I think we're just gonna have to go with it. Okay, so this is our hair washing station, but why does it look like a place where you get your teeth pulled out. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna remove this to make it look less scary. I want to put more lighting in between of these and maybe make it a little bit more even because why is it not even? Okay, give me a second. Okay, I think that's pretty even. Now I think about it, I feel like this thing over here is really awkward because it's so out of place. Maybe we can put another one of this hair washing station. I feel like that's a lot better. Okay, let me try that real quick. Oh my gosh, it's getting so dark. Um, okay, we're definitely gonna add more lighting. Ooh, this one. Industrial ceiling lamp. I know it might seem like a bit much, but these lights are like really overused in the Philippines. So this is what we're using. I see it's getting a little bit too bright, guys. Uh, let's see what else. I think we should copy paste this one over here. Just like that. Uh, it doesn't really look good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put our products over here. So it looks like we have a lot of stock. Okay, for some reason, I'm still not feeling it. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the wallpaper? Uh, I have no idea. Maybe you can add like a lot of posters. And this can be like promoting our new shampoo. Or maybe our gel. Hair gel? I don't know. Now I really need to fill up these empty spaces. So I'm wondering if this is a good idea, or am I just spamming this because I'm running out of ideas? I don't know, I guess we'll never know. All I know is that we need a TV somewhere. Where should we put it, guys? Oh, uh, let's see what it looks like with a shelf. Can we make this shelf bigger? <gasps> yes, we can. 
You know what? That's perfect. That is actually perfect, okay? Yeah, it should look like this. I like it. But for the meantime, I think we will be needing some side tables. Which one should we get? I guess it wouldn't hurt to have this, but maybe we can stack it on <gasps> top of each other. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. We need to put a lot of these because it would get quite wet, wouldn't it? And honestly, I don't know where else to put it. Because if there's hair all over the floor, you wouldn't want carpet there. It would, like, get stuck. So let me try to put hair down there. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's made a hair decal yet. That would be kind of creepy if someone did do that. But honestly, I need it. So hopefully someone did do that. Ooh, I think this one's a nice one. Okay, let's just see if this works. It kind of looks like a worm, but I feel like it's um good enough. <laughs> To pass as just a little clump of hair. Where'd it go? Oh, let me just see if we can pull this off, okay? Um, let me get a cube and make that really, really skinny so we can paste it here. You know what? We'll take it. We'll take it, guys. We will take it. <laughs> it is good enough for me. I really like this idea of mine. Okay, let me just twist it a little bit so it's like, you know, bits and bits. <gasps> I love that. What the heck? Oh yes, I completely forgot. We have this whole area here, which should be like the cleaning section or maybe storage section, honestly. Just like that. Maybe a spare chair for those who would need it. And cleaning equipment. <laughs> yes. And we would definitely need more trash cans, like just all around. So maybe one over here, one over here. That should be pretty good. Oh, and we should put a curtain. Sometimes people really like the polka dots one over there, so we're gonna use this. It would be something really annoying like blue or yellow. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay, so we need a lot of posters outside. And how we can achieve that is probably putting a basic shape, a clear one. Because I know that we can't put posters on glass, on like window glass. So make it really, really skinny, extend it a little bit and make it kind of tall. And we can move it closer to the glass, but just enough for it to be kind of protruding a little bit like that. So we can put a lot of posters. I hope we're not overdoing it. <laughs> this is so bad. Um, You know what? We're probably not. We're probably not. This, this is a pretty accurate representation, so I'm not too mad. <gasps> Maybe it would help to have shade as well. Because I would want like a roof of some sort here. Oh my gosh, and we should put like one pillow. And it would be another obnoxious pattern as well. Like this. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. <sighs> okay, I think these ads are popping. Um, oops. Oh my gosh. I just wanted to delete the poster. My goodness. How do you delete the poster actually? What the heck? Let me delete the poster, please. We need to find a way to make our beauty salon look more like a beauty salon, not just like a random shop with some beauty posters on it. We need to make it look really luxurious somehow. So how I'm gonna do that is maybe exchange this bag of trash for some really nice plant. Okay, so I think we are pretty much done with the beauty salon, but I don't know if I'm satisfied with it, but I'm just trying to be, okay. I'm not totally done yet. I'm not totally done yet. I totally forgot. Okay. We're gonna just change these ones to the ones from outside. Gosh, I hate changing decals. It's honestly a pain. It's practically torture. Let's change this to something else. Uh, change channel to... It would be cooking channel. It would be some sort of like... I don't know, bro. Drama. You know what? Let's just put it on a cooking channel. I don't like the other channels. Okay, the one thing we only need to do now is to make a logo for it. So let's do that. Yay, nearly done. I really, really doubt that the logo can salvage all of this. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, I finally finished our decal and it looks like this. It's called Dreams Beauty Salon and yes, that is a free decal that I found. Well, I put like the scissors and the comb, but the middle part, yeah, I found it for free in like Pix Art. So yeah, that's our logo. And this is the front of our salon. Okay, um, not gonna lie, I didn't really know how to make this look aesthetic. I do know that in Bloxburg, you need to have like aesthetic builds for it to get 
attention. But I feel like with this one, it's kind of more important to have your build close to the source. And because we are taking the Philippines as an inspiration, that is what I've done. This is kind of what you would get in a Filipino salon. And this is the hair washing station. Sadly, it does not work, but imagine if it did um this is the reception area where the reception person just sits there but let's be honest no one actually ever like sits here they're usually just working as well and this is like the hair um already forgot what it's for <laughs> this is the hair um conditioning air like hair steamer i'm pretty sure okay and what else we have a lot of products on the shelf and everything and magazines everywhere a tv to the side and a little storage oh i'm lagging my goodness what is going on i can't click anything what is going on oh my gosh this place is haunted for real <gasps> oh my gosh i nearly got banned guys oh my gosh the decal nearly got us banned that is so scary i realized that there was a phone number should have seen it Ugh, and we are back guys anyway so this is our new one i removed the phone number that i didn't even know was there whatever back to my point um yeah let's go in i was just trying to show you this one guys and i went through so much <laughs> Anyways, guys, I think that's it for today's video, and I hope you really, really liked it, because I don't like it. Not that I don't like it, I do, but I'm just worried if you like it, and I don't know, it's just not aesthetic, you know? Uh, but it's okay, I can deal with it. I can't wait for our new build over here, but anyways, hope you liked this dream salon that we built together. And I hope you know that it is accurate to the salons in the Philippines, so you won't go telling me why it looks like that, okay? I'll see you in the next video. Bye!